Hello, horsey people! We're back with Rival Stars Horse Racing today. I'm extremely excited to be making... I'm going to say this wrong. You guys know I'm going to say it wrong. Bukiko! I'm assuming you say it like this. Is this... I think this is the rarest looking thoroughbred I've certainly ever seen. But I think it's the rarest looking thoroughbred the world has ever seen. I would say this is the rarest colour thoroughbred. Unless I'm wrong. And you guys are probably going to tell me in the comment section below how wrong I am. But anyway, this is Bukiko. This is an amazing, amazing thoroughbred. Mare. Mare, I believe. Yeah, absolutely stunning. I'm not sure what colour that is. Looks like a splash. Spotted racehorse. I don't know. Yeah, like a spotted racehorse, which is so cool. So, um, okay, how do I spell this again? Bukiko. Yeah, so she is going to be super rare. We are going to be buying her in the stable block and then we're going to breed her today, which is super exciting. Um, yeah, she does look like an Appaloosa. <laughs> we love thoroughbreds for their athleticism, but certainly not known for their eye-catching colours. Bays and browns are common. Greys are hotly co converted. But really, if you nab a chestnut with a little chrome, you're rolling pretty fancy in the thoroughbred world. <laughs> Wow. Despite these loud spots giving her the look of an Appaloosa. Wow. Bukiko is in fact 100% thoroughbred. The four-year-old mare runs on the dirt in Japan where she's accumulated enormous fan following due to her unusual colouring. Wow. Bukiko's dam was born white, a rare colour indeed for any thoroughbred. We don't mean she was born grey and grew lighter with age. Her name was, oh my goodness, so her name was, oh my goodness, I can't say this, Sharanikigimim, I don't know, whose name translates to Snow White and was born a true white. Ah, this is amazing. Okay, so we're going to try and make her, I don't know what her preferences are, I can't find that, but it's okay. So I'll just make this up. I mean, she seems to like the soft ground by the looks of it, she's on dirt. So we'll just go dirt and we'll make her like a middle runner. I shall make her front runner because that's my favourite. <laughs> Stats obviously has to be the highest here because otherwise what is the point? But yeah, I'm really excited about breeding this actually. I think it could be really unique. We'll see. Oh, what have I done? There we go. And what's really nice now, now we have the pasture update. We can actually put some of the horses that I have in this stable block in the pasture. And then we can crack on and do lots and lots of uh breeding so it's gonna be great right so i think we need let's just clear everything here let's just get none here oh my goodness where is the none oh there it is just gonna put none in because it does look like she's got four perfect like white feet there's nothing you can't really see markings on that this is gonna be the hard bit i think let's scroll to gray oh my goodness okay i, I don't know actually that's i mean it's really difficult. She kind of looks chestnutty, like a sort of, I don't know how to describe it. Do you guys know what I mean? Like a kind of ready chestnut, maybe a bit like that. We need to get rid of this white face thing though. Goodness. Okay. She is super cool looking. I can't get over how cool this horse looks. If you guys reckon this horse is the coolest looking horse you've ever seen, go ahead and smash that like button for me guys. Oh my goodness, I think this horse deserves a like. Okay, I'm going to see if I can find something that kind of... Oh. Um. Oh, hang on. Um. Have I just found this? Because it's spotted. They do say it's spotted. It's a bit more flaky than that. Um. I don't know. I'm, I'm, okay, blotching spotting is probably a good shout. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually really happy with that. <laughs> what? And I'm happy with the colour and everything. Have I just found this straight away? I think I have. Okay, remember blotching spotting, guys. I'm happy with the colour as well. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find anything else. I mean, maybe that. Marbled leopard. Would marbled leopard suit? Uh, I think there's too much on there, but that kind of works. Marbled leopard. I don't know what colour you are. You're so rare. It's crazy. I've never seen anything like it. I don't think there's many other horses out there lo like this. Because obviously we did the video of making famous racehorses that in real life that are unique looking and I was saving her because I thought wow she's amazing and I just wanted to do a video just on her so you know 
don't think there's going to be anything else that matches. But if you guys think there's something better out there, you know, that I've, than I've picked today, then just let me know in the comment section below what you choose. So apparently she is the spotted, so I don't, I don't know. We could find something. Hmm. I mean, that's kind of cool. It almost fits. It almost does fit, actually, that. Really, like, does. I think we found ours, though. Yeah, I should have gone with the one, I thought. Okay, let's go find that again. I'm really happy with that. Bukiko! Where's it go? I'm so confused. Did I just look down and miss it? Where am I? Where is it? There are so many coat patterns to Rival Stars, it's crazy. I wonder if they will update R Rival Stars and we'll get some new coat patterns. I mean, I can't moan because, yeah, that is the, definitely it. I'm super happy with that. <gasps> I wonder if they've been inspired by Bukiku to, to have this colouring on the game. Yeah, we've just had a pasture update, so I can't complain. Okay, let's save. Actually, hang. Just, did I make her a mare? Because you guys know what I'm like. Oh, no. Okay, let's just check a second because otherwise I'm going to literally like eat my hat. Yay! Okay, right. Let's make her viable. Let's take all these out a second, because we kind of bought all those. Oh, we didn't buy them in the end, actually. We didn't breed those yet. But these are the these are all the uh, super rare ones that I made in that last video, which I will, I will, uh, leave a link to at the end of this. Okay, let's go buy her. Oh my goodness, do I have enough money? <laughs> yeah, got loads of Wonga. Okay, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Are you guys ready? <gasps> let's buy her. Oh my goodness, I think we need a lot of pictures of this. Oh wow, look at this. <laughs> we could put a jockey on actually. Um, we need different colours for the jockey to match the... Have we got a picture of them racing? Going like full gallop? Oh, we haven't. I'm surprised. There's one of cantering. It's not very often I put a jockey on actually. Um... Yeah, that's really weird. You'd think you'd expect like one at full gallop, wouldn't you? Really? Not one on the sand track, because she's often seen on the sand track. There we go. Bukiko! Look how pretty she is. Oh my goodness. So you can have it with the jockey or not, you know? Okay, we'll just take away the jockey and everything, and then we'll get some more shots. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. Wow. Okay. Let's go. We're just going to go straight into breeding her. I mean, why not? Do I have foals in here, do I? Okay. Bukiko. Who are we going to breed her with? Oh, my goodness. I mean, I don't mind who we breed her with. We could just breed her with Buzz. I mean, let's do that. Once she's had her foal, though, guys, we're going to go take her for some cost country. We're going to see what she looks like. Maybe take her for a race. I might race her after this, actually. Oh, my goodness. See, this is what... See, her mum was a, a, a pure white. So she's just bred a pure white, which is crazy. And I think that's... that's Yeah, I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. But hey, here we are. Okay, let's skip her to Mel. see... Oh, no, I've got to sell a horse. I haven't got to sell a horse. Hold the phone. What we're going to do is we're going to put all these in the pasture. Because we can fit 60 horses in the pasture now, which is crazy. If you guys want to check out the video I did on the pasture update, it's brand new. It's fresh out. You can go check it out. I will leave a link somewhere to that. Okay, I'm just going to put all these in here. Oh my goodness. Should we race Bakiko ourselves? Uh, I think we're going to lose that, actually, but... Uh, I'm not going to put too much of a bet on because I don't think we're going to win this because we've had a lot of red on our... <laughs> oh dear. Okay, you ready? I'm riding the rarest thoroughbred in the world. They're ready to go at Queen Victoria Park. Number four, the horse that punters favour. <laughs> Is that me? Okay. Oh my goodness, she looks so cool. Don't breed this coat pattern a lot, Evie. The starter gets them underway. Number four shows great natural pace. Morning's motion is also in the firing line. Number four shows great natural pace. Number four shows great natural pace. Morning's motion is also in the firing line. Number four maintaining the lead. Bamboozled hat box in second oh, place. Quite a short race, actually. I've got her short thousand. Outspoken oh, gift in fifth place. On their oh my back goodness, I should be in the blue bar, really. I don't really know 
Perfect. Quick. I think we will have enough green though. Number four, feeling We've got a 200, 200 meters left to get some more green. Temporary galaxy gaining momentum and flying through. Aces push. Okay, I'm gonna go. At the 400 meter mark, it's bamboozle hat box. I'm not gonna go too quick. It's gonna take a nice steady. As long as we can keep our nose in front, we'll be fine. Ooh, Ooh. Hey. Hey. Wonderful. Number four gets the money. Bamboozle hat box in second place. Morning solution in third. I'm really happy with that. That's fine. Yay, that's super exciting. Oh, so you can race them with a foal now as well. Oh my goodness, okay, that's new too. I did not realise that. Oh, look at the pasture updates, so cool. I don't know what he's doing. Are you chewing? What are you doing? Huh? Are you cute? That's so sweet. I think he's... I think... Are they grooming? But they're a bit far away from each other? Is that what's happening? I don't know. I don't know how I ended up here, to be honest. So you can ride these horses from the pasture in free room. I just wanted to go to Kiko. I want to age this foal up. Because it's a pure white, I believe. <gasps> Lush. Oh, that's so nice. That's a dominant white as well, which actually is perfect because the dominant white is the colour that her mum was, I believe. I mean, tell me if I've got that wrong. We probably could name her after her mum. And if I try and spell it, you guys don't laugh at me. You're going to laugh at me because I can't spell. Okay, this is, this is actually her name. Let's rename the horse. Okay, this is the name of her mum. I know it's the wrong way around. Okay, I can't say this. She, Q, E, Amy. I can't say this, but that's the name. It's a cool name. I have no idea what it means, but it sounds great. Um, well, I do know what it means. It means Snow White. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey. Wow, the mares earned three wins and 11 starts so far, and that was in 2016. So, yeah, okay, let's take Bukiko for a quick cross country and then we're going to breed her again i would like three foals today from her i think yeah because why not it'd be interesting to see different combos as well i will use different stallions ah oh, look i mean she is a racehorse so she wouldn't be normally jumping Ooh, what am i doing what am i doing cool this is just looks cool doesn't it Let's just take her around the farm for a bit and talk horses. So I wonder what made her come out this colour. Because her mum's a dominant white, then what's her dad? She must have like something in her that's, I don't know. Maybe somebody here knows. If you know why she's come out this colour, then let me know. The next thing for Rival Stars. You guys are predicting cross country races on desktop. This is for the desktop. A lot of you guys keep saying, oh, how can you get 60 horses uh, where we only get like four? Are you paying for premium? And I'm like, no, nope, I do not have Star Club. I don't have any of that because I'm a desktop user. If you download Steam, it's a free like platform. It has all sorts of games on there. You can then buy Rival Stars for 35 pounds or $40. And then you have unlimited hoarseness. I personally recommend it. I'm not getting endorsed by this game at all. I mean, it's just it's my opinion. If you like horse games and you want to chill out and play it and not have to wait 400 years for stuff like the app version, then, then you're in the right place. Hey, jumps well, guys. Jumps well. This is fun. My steering doesn't feel that great today. Whee! I tend to go around the same way. So the reason we have the red flag on the right hand, because yeah, you need the red flag on the right hand. This is so fun. I was so excited to do this though today. I thought it was a really cool little video. Also, we're going to be doing the Heartland horses, making those. I don't know whether we'll buy them. We might. We might buy and breed them. Let's see. We might. Especially Spartan, a big black horse. He's gorgeous. But I have never seen Heartland. I think I watched like the first episode actually. I think it was a lie. And I don't know. Just couldn't get into it myself or I just didn't have time to watch it. I don't know. 
It looks amazing, but we need some more horse TV shows. Don't you guys agree? I think we need something cool. Whee! Here we go. Over the jump. This is so fun. We're going to do one more jump, and then we're going to go and breed her again. Yeah. How fun is that? I love it. Absolutely love it. Such a great game, this. Okay, over to the stables. We could age up Esther's foal, actually, while we're here. Really nice half splash. We're going to be doing the splash, the half splashes. We're going to breed half splashes soon, which is going to be super wholesome. Half splash. Uh, Bikiko, let's go breed you. We could breed the other one that I can't pronounce the name of as well. Oh dear. Okay, let's try Palomino Stallion this time. Why not? And let's go with Shiro Mikanabaduda. I can't. I don't know. Let's breed with a black. That could be an interesting combination. Okay, straight in with Bikiko. Let's go for it, guys. Cool. It's a little like. I don't know what colour that is. But that's actually one of the coat patterns I was considering for Bikiko. But I think we've hit the nail with her anyway. I just want to get a little picture. She's so cute. Okay, let's skip straight to now. Whee! Okay. Harmony Risk. You're very pretty. So this is a lavish pinto again. Let's see what we get. Ah, we got Blotch spotting in the pedigree. So actually, I'd like to breed Harmony Risk. Find a different stallion, obviously. Uh, where's Harmony Risk gone? There you are. Let's use a fresh stallion. Yeah, let's go with this. Got quite a lot of Palominos going on in the family tree then, hopefully. Let's, with this last stable here, we're going to breed Bakika one more time. We're going to use... I don't know. I'd like a... I don't know what I'd like. <laughs> I'd like something. Could use one of my other stallions, but let's use a Ribicano Palomino. Hopefully the Rebecca itself will not get will not get bred. We'll see. So it looks like ah no okay so falling. So could we always race if they had a fall? I can't actually remember. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay, let's collect a little payout. Not that it's a lot of money, but it might help. Uh, okay, let's race and ride. Let's do this. Let's not use Pikiko. Oh, is Pikiko my only one? Oh, I'm being really thick. Okay, full timer is then instead. Not Pikiko. Let's go straight to Harmony Risk and work our way through. <gasps> oh my word. I think. I think it is. I don't know what this is. So cute. What is this? What is this? This is a, I want it to stay as a done, I really do. Or a buckskin rather, buckskin. But yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's care for Fall. I'm gonna call him Fire's Fable, that's fine. We can call him that. Oh, he's so cute. Just want a few pictures of him because he's kind of a cool color. Let's take away the parents. Oh, he has a big white sock. Why did I miss that? Okay, let's age him up. If he goes bay, I'm probably gonna cry. Are you bay? Ooh, you're not bay, you're kind of a golden-y thing. Very nice. That is very smart. Look how smart he is. Wow. So he's a chestnut with a cream dilute. And he's very pretty. Okay, we have two more foals. And then we're going to have a look at some footage of Bikiko racing. Which is going to be so fun. I can't wait. Okay, over to Bikiko. <gasps> oh my goodness. It's the same coat pattern, but obviously different shade. Wow. Amazing. Okay, let's skip her straight to Mer, see what she looks like. Ha, <laughs> spaghetti. Spaghetti is a great name. Cool. I think, so it looks like Bikiko has had some foals as well. Ah, she's had a couple of like pure white foals weirdly actually so guys I've got this wrong right I should have called by the looks of it I should have called Shukumimimimi even though it's her mum I've obviously done it the wrong way around 
I should have called her Sudashi because it looks like yeah yeah this is amazing so her first foal so dash okay we need to sort this out i'm going to change this because it just totally makes sense and you guys have probably already commented those of you that are clever so dashi was actually a pure white oh my goodness so we've accidentally bred her foal like in real life that that's mad obviously without the blue eyes we'd have black eyes there but wow Sadashi is making headlines. A cleaner version of her dam without the brown markings. Sadashi became the first white thoroughbred to win a top level contest anywhere in the world. Putting her pink nose in front of the line. Oh, amazing! How did I... How on earth did that just happen? <laughs> amazing! Oh my goodness. Cool. So let's go see what Sadashi breeds now. So uh, technically, I have got this right now. This is the grandchild of the Kiko. Oh, it's a little... I think it's a black dilute. Very nice. Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh... Oh my goodness, she had ten foals. Uh, all but one of her ten foals inherited her white coat. The exception was a grey filly. Seven of them were successful. All winners by... Uh, Kurofun. Wow, it's amazing. Cool. Okay, let's skip this one to Mare. Nice. So pretty. This, yeah, so she's had nine dominant white <laughs> foals. That's amazing. This is Bikiko who has. That's awesome. Wow. Uh-oh. My game has glitched, but that's okay. We're in perfect time because what we're going to go do now, guys, is we're going to go and watch Bikiko race in real life we're gonna have some footage of her racing so let's <laughs> much for watching today's video Bikiko is an amazing looking thoroughbred I'm amazed with her if you guys think she's wholesome then as I said before I think she deserves a like what do you guys reckon we sh I think she deserves at least a thousand likes do you think we could get to a thousand likes on this video for this awesome looking horse do it guys help us out thank you so much though for watching and if you are new to the channel then please consider subscribing and joining our crazy horse family we have lots of cool or should i say awesome horse games coming out soon there's a lots of new horse games i don't know what's going on with 2022 but i tell you it is the year of the horse 
Probably isn't, but you know. Uh, yeah, there's lots of cool new horse games coming out, basically. And this is the channel you need to discover all those with, because we are going to be gaming all sorts. So guys, please do consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell. If you don't turn the bell on, YouTube doesn't let you know that I've uploaded, which is super duper helpful. But guys, thank you so much, so, so much for watching. Again, massive thank you to all of my channel members, also my VIP rangers. I couldn't, you know, it really helps, you know, I couldn't be doing this without all the extra support. So thank you so much. If you can't be a channel member, then the best thing that you guys can do is watch the videos all the way through and by liking the videos, basically. So thank you. Have a awesome rest of your day. Bye.